is the Integrated Math 1 practice test uh, for TCAP or TenReady, whatever you want to call it. We're in question number 11, which is subpart 2, so we can use a calculator. Sometimes you get questions where you think, man, these last few questions have been kind of rough or whatever. Uh, this question seems like it's probably too good to be true, and this one time it's actually not too good to be true. The question says the function uh, p of t is equal to 3 times 2 to the t, so this is a geometric situation. I'll be applying it this way. Um, it represents the population of a certain type of bacteria after t days, or exponential I should say. What is the population of the bacteria after 5 days? So it tells me that t is the number of days. It says 5 days. It gives me this. So all I'm really going to do is 3 times 2 to the 5th, and you can do it all type it into your calculator if you want or you know if you 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 times 2 is 32 and then 32 times 3 and you get a final answer of 96 so whatever you want to do to get that one and that's the whole answer that's all you have to do for that one it's not nearly uh, as difficult as some of the others just be aware that they could trick, like, sort of trip you up by saying, maybe t is the number of weeks, for instance, and they give you, or they give you t is the number of days, and they give you five weeks, and you'll have to convert the weeks to days and then move forward. They're not doing that here, though. So, uh, cross your fingers that you get lots of questions like this when you take the final test, and maybe it'll work out for you. Who knows?